Okay, so by now you've created your new form and you've added some questions to it. Let's take a look at the settings. So we'll click here on settings. The first option you have is to determine if it's going to be a quiz. If you have something as a quiz, you can assign point values, uh, set correct answers. You can even give feedback to people who take the quiz. Underneath that, we're going to look at responses. So you can decide if you want to collect email addresses. Um, you can also decide if you want to send people a copy of what they respond. If you choose this, you'll have to collect the email addresses first. You can decide if you want people to be able to edit their responses and then the sign in. Now, if you're in a school account, the default here for sign in will almost always be to restrict your form to people who are within that school domain. Okay. However, you can change this. So we can turn this off. And then once you do that, anyone who has the form can respond. If you're sending this to parents, make sure you turn this off because parents are not going to be within your school domain. Um, and finally, you can decide if you want to limit it to one response per person. Okay. So those are some things to think about as far as the responses category. Now scrolling down, let's look at the presentation. This is what people will see. Uh, you can have a progress bar. You can shuffle the questions. This is usually nice in a quiz. Um, after people have submitted the form, you can customize your confirmation message. This is going to be done by clicking edit. Um, you can put a custom message. Make sure you click save here or else it won't go through. Um, you can have a link for someone to submit another response. This is going to be if you have somebody who's going to be submitting multiple things or even you're going to be submitting it multiple times, you can have that on. And then results summary. I'll be honest, I usually leave this off. You typically don't want people who are getting your form to be able to see what everybody else has said, but there could be situations where you do. So typically this will be off. And then autosave. Autosave is a feature that allows someone to go halfway through the form, kind of come back to it later and have what they filled out originally saved. So you can, uh, by default, that's a feature. Autosave is on, but you can choose to disable that. Uh, finally, some other things down here at the defaults. Again, collecting the email address by default. Most people keep that off. And then uh, you can also set it to make your questions required by default. These are just kind of things that depend on how you typically interact with your forms. All right, a couple more things to look at and go back over to questions. It's just what our form looks like and the kind of the, the way that it's presented. You can customize this and it's going to be up here looking at this little palette, customize theme. So you are now able to customize the font and the font size for your headers, your questions, and the text within your form. This is pretty new. So, you know, I could change all of that if I wanted to. You can also choose an image for your header. They have a bunch of different images that are just stock and come with it. You can also upload your own or search through uh, photos in your account. So for now, I'll just use something that's there. Now, notice what happens when I select this. I'm gonna insert that header photo automatically when I select it, it updates the colors to match. So that's kind of a cool feature, but you can always change the colors as well. So you can add really any color you want to this. Um, it's, it's up to you. So for both the, the um, feature color and then the background color. So to send your form, you're going to go to send. This is what you'll use when you want people to be able to um, fill out the form. So you're going to go to send. You can send it by email, you can get a link, or you can even embed it, okay? So, and once again, it's going to give you that option to collect email addresses. So you can send it by email, you can get that link and simply copy the link. Um, and make sure that's what you give people when you want them to complete the form. Do not share it. If you share the form or um, add collaborators, those are the people who can edit the form, okay? Collaborators edit, but if you want someone to complete the form, make sure that you use the send button.